Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Dark Sirius War Master's Edition. We're going on with her current plan of going over this platform. Great. You are the one that died. We're back at where we got this chest over here. With, I think, what was it? Another beholder's key? Alright. We already see one of those guys. We have two health chests that we can use. It's so specifically designed that they won't come not towards you, so you cannot try and get them with your crossblade. If only it were that simple. <sighs> First one we have to fight, and then we have to fight two. This is going to be fun times. I think we'll die on once or twice. Nope, I'm not weak, I'm... Oof, crap. I am weak. Shit! I am being an idiot! Okay, please help me, help me, help me, help me! God damn it! How much immu immunity frames do I need to get from you? God damn it! Oh god. Oh, there we go. Chaos Leader leveled up. Oh yeah, there was one of these guys that was spawned as well. God fucking damn it! I think I want to use all my greater health. God damn it! Stop using. Stop buffing yourself! Oh, that, that, that's just. That, that's not actually. You, you're not allowed to do that! Oh, come on! Just, just no. You're not allowed. That's just not fair. If you, if you just get yourself stinky again, <laughs> that's just not fair. And now the the, the awesome fight against two begin. Come on. Your soul is mine. Nope, it's not yours. Come on, come on, come on, give me the bees. The flesh from your no, 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 no. You, you die. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to go down. Oh, that was bullshit. That didn't even hit me. You die. Jesus. And I will say, oh, th this 
kind of looked easy, but I will see you guys. I shouldn't have been a moron going out in with half health. Or almost no health. Take the wrath chest that I completely forgot about. Because otherwise that could been could have been cleared much faster. And take the health chest in the previous round. But I will say this, I this took me a while. First time. This section took me a while. Two of those bastards. I couldn't handle it. I just died every time for some reason. Not for some reason. I'm in comparison to now. I've gotten better. That's the whole thing. I've adapted to War's playstyle. Okay, let's do this. And... Yeah, I can go back and bring the sword towards the angels and unlock the boss area. But before I do that, there's some things I want to quickly finish before we enter the boss and feel miserably. Okay, we're over here. I'm going to the other side. Get something over there. It's the section that we couldn't get through because we didn't have the crossblade. And I'm going back to Fulgrim as well to buy some stuff. Like stone skin. Wee wee. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Oh no, this is the, the Abyssal Armor piece and this should be Horde Seeker over here. No, Revcore. Kind of BS, but oh well. I'm missing Heart Seeker. And I think I need to go to the other side again. Wait, did I even grab this chest? Yes, yeah, sorry guys if I if I sound like I'm forgetting things, because I actually am. Because I really want to get everything done in, in, in the area that I can before coming back, because I don't have the required items, like for example, the Mask of Shadows or something like that. I'm really trying to get every item I need, or that I could get, every chest, etc. So, if I don't, it's kind of a bummer for me. I know I will go back for it, but I want to get at least as many items as I can, or that I can, in a specific area. Because I know I've got some health chests in the uh, starting area, which I kind of am bummed out about. Because that will confuse me later on, because I know I will forget about that. And this should be Heart Seeker. Alright, now I can just look. Alright, over here we don't have anything. That red door over there, that's the boss, boss room. Over here we don't have a thing. Over here we have only one chest that contains health. And then the, the section that is nothing. And then with the boss arena, so... 
I've got everything for the health chest that I still haven't gotten. Which I will get. So let's uh, buy some new stuff. Because uh, how many... How many artifacts can we turn into Fulgrim? I think three that we have found in this uh, section alone. So that's 1500 souls making a total of yeah, 4000. That's going to be... Ooh, I can have 2000 to upgrade some stuff. Ooh, I can buy the M2 Vessel as well. Stone skin and the M2 Vessel at the same time. Great. Die. Old Volgrim's got something new for you. Rich rocket. Mm. Shredder. Charge attack with crossway reaps wrath souls from enemies. Ooh, that's also pretty neat. Oh, Undying. Oh yeah, undying is also Please something I can have. Old Voldem's got something new for you. Oh, what I can do is I can. Where is it? Stone you skin? Are as wise as you are powerful. I can buy rich rockets. Old Voldem's got something new for and you. And the empty vessel. Empty, empty vessel. Mm. Empty vessels can be filled with many See beneficial anything. properties and consumed and, and consumed. Example: consume life essence to restore health. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Okay, that that's great. Now, after we defeat Tiamat, we will actually have. Uh, what's it called? Wait, do I even have the ability ready? Because that might be something as well pretty useful. Stone skin with the abyssal armor. Oh, that is <laughs> going to be so powerful on defensive stats. I wonder how much souls we will get from Tiamat. Okay. Die. Oh, so you bastard respawn. One more down. If only that other guy hasn't respawned, then I'm then I'm glad. Did something respawn down here? Tell Oh, I think it's these things over here that I'm hearing pinging all over the section. Christ, that I hear ghosts. There, there's nothing over here. Yet I hear sounds that make me think otherwise. Let's see. The angels are still waiting for me with my help. I hope it at least heals me in great deal. I don't think it will heal me completely. If it does, then I'm pretty grateful. Oh, it heals me completely. Great. 
So that means I'm completely ready for the boss. Actually, I have yeah, I have three shards, so I can buy stuff later. And there we go. Let's go up. See you guys, I'm moving up in the world. <laughs> Okay, you can do whatever you please at this point. Though you don't have the Fulgrim Pass Travel Station yet. But I myself always like to go and save. Just because, just in case. Because I have here my greater life essence that I, I think won't get back if I die. So... If it's taking too long... I can always hope open my old save. Yeah, I, I will be locked out of the opposing area, so I have to fight this boss and kill it to move on. I have blade, I have stone skin, so I don't have to worry about too much damage. <sighs> the only thing I don't want to see is this cutscene every, every, every time again. Okay, I will not skip this one, like, with the, 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 what is it called, the flying section? I, by accident, pressed A and skipped this cutscene, because that's what actually was my nature to do at that point, for following an achievement. Same with finding this boss over and over again, and thank god, finally beat it. The first phase is not that uh, hard. It's, because I think from over here you can see those bombs. We have to throw it on Tiamat and then detonate it. She won't do much damage, or not much damage, she won't attack as much. In the second phase she will be a little bit more aggressive and she will do some sweep attacks. And the third phase she will do some sort of yeah, close-up combat fight. Where she will do sometimes a ground pound that uh, does quite a lot of uh, damage. So, Tiamat. Af after I die and I have to retry it, I will not go and... Yeah. <laughs> this will not end well for you, horseman. Grab, grab, grab. Oh yeah, he will spill fire up all attacks. Oh god fucking damn it. Oh fuck you! Oh fuck you too. Yep, I already don't know how to fight Tiamat again. I think I have to do this three times. Get, get me! <laughs> you should have considered my offer. Oh wait, is this? Oh, it already starts second phase. 
I completely forgot how to fight this one. Nope, nope! God fucking damn it! She will do three swipes, and then you can hit her with a bomb. God, shh! Fuck you, Tiamat! Does the bomb even stick on her? Dodge at the very last second. Because that thing... Yeah, uh... Because those things can hit pretty hard. Yep, ground three. Just aggressive attacking, aggressive and and pounce. She pounce again. Just be aggressive, aggressive, and get out of her range. Yeah, I'm not using Stone's Kid at the moment, but I will pretty soon if I... She can, yeah, she can block you for some reason. This quick time, my fan, just press B really quickly. I thought you had to do everything three times, but I completely forgot. I'm going with stone skin. Okay. I have really gotten used to fighting Tiamat. Just Watch watching really sadistic. Can you restore the balance? No wonder Samael wants this thing. It's causing with power. You really think he's going to let you live long enough to collect on your end? When I first saw that cutscene, I thought he destroyed it. Heart of the Chosen. Samuel requires this item, this item of powerful arcane energy to unlock access to the Black Throne. Life Essence. Life Lifestone. This arcane stone increases worth maximum health. Where is I? Yeah, yeah. This fight was really much harder than I first thought. Maybe playing on the dip uh, apocalyptic difficulty so long, I've gotten used to it. Because I tr I had trouble with the, the second phase. The first phase, like you see, you just throw the bomb and destroy it with the fire. Second phase, she will be a little bit more aggressive and just three swipes and then spill a lot of fireballs before resting a little bit. But the third phase is going to be pretty easy again because it's just be aggressive. The only thing that I might think that helped me this time around is that I have a level two, a level two God Eater, a uh, God Eater, Chaos Eater, God Eater is something from I think an anime. But yeah, Chaos Eater, level two of level of the four levels that I can get. I think that's. Pretty much what helped me through the fight. So if you guys have trouble, then maybe consider 
upgrading it. Put warm or weapon master on it, on it, and upgrade it as fast as possible. Only use it. And I think that's the only thing that, that why it's so easy this time around. I didn't gain a lot of souls. I'm pretty pumped about that. Without your feathered friend, how will you escape this prison of rock? I'll find a way. You have certainly proven yourself resourceful. Perhaps I can provide a quicker way. Speak plainly, demon. Serpent holes, ancient paths that worm their way beneath the husk of this dead world and beyond. I use them to get about, and for a price, so can you. What do you want, Baldrum? A trifle, really? The Chosen's heart. I felt its power the moment you stepped from that tower. You wound me, horseman. I would never come between you and your friend Samayen. No, I only wish to look at the heart. One glance, and our bargain is sealed. <laughs> Samayen will be pleased. The Serpent Holes are yours, Horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. Okay, we have unlocked the Serpent Holes. I think we'll end the episode after You've I give... you down Tiamat, have you? Yep. The Destroyer will not be pleased. Nope, he will you not. You need Vulgrim more than ever, yes? I am going to go to Samuel, give his heart, and end the episode. But first, let's see. I've gotten and got these to level three. After these come level four, I am complete. Please take your time. Yep, this is the other ability that I said that is not as good. Immolation drains wrath while active. Scorch wars enemies in a barrier of a smoldering hellfire. Stone skin and blade geyser and I just better, to be honest. Alright. You serpent hole. You could go and go back here to fight Mr. K if you want. But I think I have a better idea for this LP. And as I will I think near end game fight all three at the same time. True, it might be kind of a little too easy to fight some Mr. K's. But I can show them all three at once. So let's get to somewhere else. Kaumanga! Suffered. Not nearly enough. Beautiful. The second guardian, the griever, moves in tunnels beneath this place. But first there is an obstacle that must be removed. All vain. One of the old ones. You didn't mention that before. Changing the deal already, Samael. Be silent, Bilf. <laughs> My business is with the horseman. Ulthain is no ally of the Destroyer. But you won't find the Griever without confronting the Black Hammer. And that will require strength you don't possess. <laughs> Yet. What the hell do you think you're doing, Samael? 
tell him, Watcher, how you stifle a horseman's true power in order to keep him on the Council's leash. War. Destroy this parasite. You so much as blink at me, and the Council will end you, both of you. I'm protected. Not in here. You are war. Rider of the Red Horse. Not some puppet on this pathetic creature's streams. Or I will make you suffer. Focus your anger. A great rage stirs within you, clawing to get out. You must release it, or a puppet. form oh yes chaos form has been unlocked chaos form temporarily calls upon war's chaos form to decimate enemies press lb and rt to unleash chaos form oh yes baby chaos form it is and this is where i will end the episode like always, hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to get your game on. Till next time!